Hey guys, so we are going to get started with our problem of the day. And the first thing that we do is read our problem of the, of the day so that we can understand and underline important information. So at the park, manipulative Monday, manipulative manipulativos, things that we can move around to help us solve this word problem. Let's start reading. There are 12 children playing in the park. So remember earlier this morning, we talked about um, how do we find important information? What do you think is important about that sentence? Pause the video and tell it to a partner or someone there. Okay, so if you already found what was important about that sentence, you're gonna get your marker and you're going to underline, that means put a line under that important information. To me, the important information was that there are 12 of something at the park. Six children go home. That is important as well. It gives me uh, the number of children that went home. So now I have to understand what am I reading so far? I know that there was 12 children at the park and now some children went home. Six of them went home. So it looks like this might be a subtraction word problem, right? Because it's saying that I had a hole and then something went away. And the question is how many children are in the park now, when you hear the word now, I want you to write the equal sign, okay? Because it's wanting us to find the, the new total, okay? So now that you understood the word problem, let's go ahead and draw our picture. picture. So uh, for today, we are going to be going to Braining Camp. And if you click the link right here, it'll take us to Braining Camp. Let's see if it takes me. Um, and we are going to be logging in with Clever, and we're going to be going to the cubes, the linking cubes, okay? That's what we're going to be doing. Those are going to be the manipulatives that we're going to be working with to solve our word problem. If you want to use a uh, tin frame, which is a frame that has tin, you can. I don't know if we can make them bigger. No? Okay. And if you want to add another tin frame, you just click down there and then you can add another tin frame. I'm going to use two tin frames because I know that to start with, I had 12 children, right? So then I'm going to go ahead and fill up one tin frame. And it's called a tin frame because it's some, it has tin inside of it. Okay, so it, it doesn't matter. I can keep on going, keep on going. And then I know that once I fill it up, it's a 10. Well, I know that the number 12, remember we talked about digits. The number 12 has how many digits? Pause the video and tell a partner or somebody else around you. I hope that you said it had two digits. Let me see if I can use this marker here. So the number 12 well, let me write the number 12 and I see that it has two digits. It has the number one and the number two. Well, I know that here is one 10 frame. That means I have one group of 10. That is why I have the one right here. And I mean the, the one digit, the number one, the digit number one. And then over here, I have my ones place. And let me go ahead and get how many extra ones, meaning that I haven't made a group of 10. Well, it's two. So I have 12, one 10 and two ones. All right, but something happened. It said that six children went away. So I know that this is gonna be a subtraction problem because I'm not adding anything to it. I'm taking children away. So I'm gonna go ahead and when it's a subtraction, that symbol right there means subtraction. I'm gonna subtract six. I'm already writing my number sentence. Alrighty, so what can I do? I can either 
take them away or I can scratch them off. You can decide how you want to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and just scratch off six of them, okay? So let me go ahead and scratch off six. And I know that six is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what they wanted to know, remember that equal sign, is how many are there now? Right, that is our missing number. What now? And I put a question when I'm missing something, right? So let's find what is our missing number. One, uh oh, well, I know that the top is five, so five, six. <gasps> what? I have the six children. Let me go back to my seesaw. And I can go ahead and either draw a picture here with the cubes again if you want. Here are the cubes right there and then just use your pencil. So I could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then just put them down here. All right, so this is kind of what you did right now with the linking cubes. So that you can do that. Okay, I went ahead and paused the video so that I could go ahead and get my 12 here. And you see that I kind of set it up just like my double 10 frame. I have my 10 and then my two ones over here. And then you can get your marker and mark them off. And then remember your number sentence. That is what the S is for. What is your number sentence? Well, I already put it on braining cap. My number sentence was 12 subtract 6. Now there are 6 children in the park. It is your turn to solve the problem of the day. Remember, everything stays the same except the numbers. I changed the numbers so I can see you practicing.